Hello friends, hope all of you are fine and doing well. Welcome to our channel UG Mold Tech. Today, we embark on an exciting journey into the world of plastic part design. From concept to creation, let's explore the fascinating process together. In today's video, we'll dive into the ultimate guide to plastic part design, covering everything you need to know, from the very first concept to getting your part into full production. Whether you're new to design or looking to level up your skills, this video is for you. Plastic part design refers to the process of creating and engineering components made from plastic materials. These parts are crucial in a wide range of industries, automotive, medical, consumer electronics, and so much more. Think of your smartphone case car bumpers, or even the housing of appliances like fridges and washing machines. They all start as a design concept for a plastic part. From simple containers to intricate mechanical parts, plastics are indispensable in modern manufacturing. They are lightweight, durable, and cost-effective, making them ideal for a wide range of applications. Additionally, plastics offer excellent resistance to corrosion and chemicals, and they can be easily molded into complex shapes. The key to a successful plastic part, however, lies in a well-thought-out design. The first crucial step in plastic part design is selecting the right material. This decision impacts the part's performance, durability, and cost. With hundreds of plastic materials available, each offers unique properties and benefits. Let's explore some of the most commonly used plastics and their applications. ABS This versatile plastic is a staple in many consumer products. Known for its toughness, impact resistance, and ease of molding, ABS is a favorite in manufacturing. You'll find it in your car's dashboard, the body of household appliances, and much more. Polycarbonate, on the other hand, is known for its high impact strength and optical clarity. It's used in safety goggles, greenhouse panels, and even electronic device casings. Nylon. Renowned for its exceptional strength, flexibility, and wear resistance, nylon is a top choice for moving parts like gears and mechanical components. Polypropylene. This versatile plastic is lightweight and highly resistant to chemicals, making it ideal for a wide range of applications, including packaging, automotive components, and textiles. PET. A versatile material known for its strength, lightweight nature, and excellent moisture resistance is predominantly used in the production of bottles and containers. When selecting a material, consider the specific properties required for your application, such as strength, flexibility, heat resistance, or chemical resistance. Additionally, factor in cost and availability, which are crucial for efficient mass production. Next we dive into design for manufacturability, or DFM. DFM is crucial for making sure your part is not only easy to produce, but also cost-effective and efficient. A complex design can lead to higher production costs and slower manufacturing times. Let's explore some essential DFM principles to streamline your design process. Let's dive into one of the key DFM principles, draft angles. Draft angles are the slight angles added to the vertical walls of a molded part. They ensure the part can be easily ejected from the mold without sticking. Without these angles, you risk damaging both the part and the mold during ejection, leading to costly repairs and downtime. A good rule of thumb is to aim for a 1 to 3 degree draft angle. This helps in smooth ejection and maintains the integrity of the part. However, the ideal draft angle can vary depending on the material used and the complexity of the part's geometry. Always consider these factors in your design. Now, let's dive into the critical aspect of wall thickness in plastic part design. Maintaining a consistent wall thickness is essential for ensuring the integrity and quality of your plastic part. Warping, sink marks, and uneven cooling, which compromise the part's performance. As a rule of thumb, aim to keep the wall thickness between 1.5 mm and 3 mm for optimal results. This range can vary depending on the size and application of the part, so always consider the specific requirements of your design. Ribs are essential in plastic part design, providing strength and support without significantly increasing material usage. Proper rib design is crucial to prevent warping and to reduce weight. 
Remember, ribs should always be thinner than the walls they support to ensure optimal performance and manufacturability. Let's dive into undercuts and features like holes, threads or grooves. These elements are crucial for the functionality of plastic parts, but they introduce complexities in the molding process. To tackle these challenges, minimize undercuts or incorporate side actions and slides to manage them efficiently. Let's dive into the fascinating world of mold design. Molds are essential tools that shape plastic into precise final parts. A well-designed mold can significantly enhance production efficiency and ensure superior part quality. The mold consists of two primary components, the cavity and the core. The core is responsible for forming the internal features of the part, while the cavity shapes the external surface. These two components must fit together perfectly to create the final mold. Think of it like a two-piece puzzle. When they align seamlessly, they form the ideal space for molding. The gate is the critical entry point where molten material flows into the mold cavity. The size, shape and position of the gate are crucial to ensure the part fills evenly, minimizes stress and avoids defects. Once the plastic part cools and solidifies, it must be efficiently ejected from the mold to maintain production speed. The ejection system can utilize various methods such as pins, air blasts, or a stripper plate to release the part. The design of the ejection system is crucial as it affects the speed, efficiency, and quality of part removal, ensuring minimal defects and downtime. Effective cooling is essential in mold design as it significantly impacts the quality of the final product and the efficiency of the production cycle. Cooling channels are meticulously designed to circulate water or other coolants, ensuring uniform cooling and preventing defects in the molded plastic parts. When designing a plastic part, it's crucial to consider how it will be assembled. A well thought out design can significantly streamline the assembly process, reducing both time and costs. Opt for designs where parts snap together effortlessly, eliminating the need for screws or other fasteners. This approach is both cost-effective and time-efficient. Snap-fit designs are a game-changer in assembly solutions. They enable parts to be securely joined without the need for tools or additional fasteners, making the process faster and more efficient. This method is widely used in various industries due to its simplicity and reliability. When snap-fits aren't feasible, bosses, those reinforced areas designed to accommodate screws or bolts offer a robust and reliable assembly solution. They ensure secure fastening and enhance the structural integrity of the plastic parts. Easy assembly is crucial. It reduces labor costs, speeds up production, and minimizes errors. Streamlined assembly processes lead to higher efficiency and better product quality. Before diving into mass production, creating prototypes is absolutely essential. Prototyping allows you to rigorously test the design, verify its functionality, and identify any potential issues early on, saving time and resources. You can employ various methods like 3D printing, CNC machining, or low-volume injection molding to create accurate and functional prototypes. This iterative process ensures that the final product meets all design specifications and quality standards. Once you have a prototype, it's crucial to validate its performance under real-world conditions. Can it endure high temperatures? Will it maintain integrity under mechanical stress and pressure? How does it perform in the actual environment it was designed for? Real-world testing ensures your design is ready for any challenge. Now, let's dive into the crucial aspect of cost considerations. Designing a plastic part isn't just about functionality. It's a delicate balance between quality and cost. Key factors such as material selection, molding complexity, and production volume significantly influence the final price. Choosing the right material can enhance durability, but may increase costs. Simplifying the mold design can reduce expenses, but might compromise on detail. And optimizing production volume can lead to cost savings through economies of scale. The initial investment in mold creation can be substantial, but as production volume ramps up, the cost per unit significantly drops. Evaluating these trade-offs is crucial to achieve optimal cost efficiency for your project.
that's your comprehensive guide to mastering plastic part design? From choosing the right materials and understanding design principles to mastering molding techniques and rigorous testing, every step is crucial in crafting high-quality, reliable plastic components. Keep innovating and refining your skills. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Your support means a lot to us. Share it with your friends and colleagues who might benefit from this information. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more in-depth engineering and design content. We value your feedback, so let us know your thoughts or questions in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining us on this journey of mastering plastic part design. We hope you found it insightful and valuable. Stay tuned for more exciting content and see you in the next video.